What's cracking, guys? In this film study, we're going to cover one of my favorite rookies from this year's class. He has been talking about a lot on this channel, and it's Rondell Moore. We're rewinding back to week five against the 49ers, his performance in that game, and I pulled some clips, and we're going to go over. In this play, Rondell Moore's in the backfield. Just going to go ahead and run the snap. He is running out to the flat. He's getting a manufactured target out of the backfield. Really, they're trying to get the ball in his hands, trying to get him to make a play in space because he's a threat to score from anywhere on the field. We all know that. We all know that. And here it is. He's got the ball, getting downfield, being explosive. This dude falls out of the shorts. He's got room to run, some green. He's got a DB linebacker, whatever, coming down on him. Gets through that. Gets through that little arm tackle. 54 is coming in. And bam. Falls into the end zone. He does not score a touchdown in this game. Imagine he got called out of bounds. Probably like right there or something. But bam. Gets in there. Really for us, what we're looking at is how explosive this guy is. And how he's being used in offense. And it's good to see him getting manufactured touches. Especially in this offense where they have all kinds of weapons. But the fact that they're spending the equity to get him these manufactured touches proves that they love what they see out of him. We definitely love what we see out of him. And he has the ability to score from anywhere on the field when you give him the ball in space. And this is the right way to do it. Now he's got room to make something happen. You got a dude falling over down there. He's just going to run past him. Burst, speed, and his short, stocky frame makes him tough to tackle. Hard to arm tackle with just those fingertips. So he's going to blast past that. And now he's off to the races. Rondell Moore is more than just a gadget guy. He can make plays downfield. He can track the ball. He's a traditional wide receiver too. He's in the slot right here. He's in the middle of the tricep. And we're going to go ahead and run the snap. And he's just... Getting to a spot downfield, not trying to do a sell or anything, just trying to get downfield, use that speed. And we're going to lose him out of the frame. Kyler Murray's doing Kyler Murray things, rolling out, looking downfield, going to sling the rock. As you see here, sets and slings it. Just bam, fires it. Deep ball. Look at him put his body into that. Kind of goes off kilter a little bit. Leans to the side, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, and then slings it downfield. There is Rondell Moore. Right there. Guy right on him. Bam. Toe tapper along the sideline. Brings in the catch. Beautiful, beautiful play. Let's look at that again. It's coming in. Right out in front of him, guy drapes kind of on him, maybe scraping him, probably better wordage, but he's bringing in the catch along the sideline, beautiful play, toe tapping. Twitter, the internet's told me this guy can't get downfield and make plays, this guy's too short, he's too short to compete at the NFL level. We're seeing him compete pretty much as maybe like a fringe running back S play running downfield when he's in open space, and now we're seeing him make plays down the field, tracking the ball, using his hands like a traditional wide receiver. So you can't tell me Rondell Moore is not good. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that at all. We're already seeing him make big plays like this happen. Rondell Moore is getting bodied up a little bit. Again, this guy, I mean, he's shorter, but he's a strong dude. Remember, early on in his college days, he was squatting 600 pounds. You can kind of see the hamstring right there just popping out there of his pants. He's a stocky dude. He's just short, but he's thick. He's bursty. He's got a little bit of power to him, and he's explosive. So he's going to work off the DB here, transition off here, and look at the grab. Concentration as he brings it in right on the ends of the oblong there. Toe tapper. Boom. Nice play there by Rondell Moore. That's a beautiful sight to see. Slow motion grab. Brings it in for the score. On this play, Rondell Moore is on the bottom of your screen. He's in the slot. He's in the middle of that tri-set. He's off ball. 
going to go ahead and run this guy for you. So he's just going to hang out in the slot here. Another manufactured touch. They want the ball in his hands. They want the ball in his hands with space, with green in front of him. That's what we're going to see here. He's getting the target instantly. A little screen going on. He's going to follow his blocks. Get downfield. Use that explosiveness to make something happen. And bam. Get some yak. He's one of the tops in the league in yak yards. And you see why. He's explosive and he's got speed. And also that shortness of him makes him tough to see in a crowd. So look at him go. Weave in and out. Tough to tackle even. Just because he's short and stocky and explosive. And he is a firecracker. You give him a little bit of the space, and he's going to take it. He's just going to take it. And you just got to hope you're in position to tackle him, which they are kind of here with everybody all mashed in together. I like Rondell Moore. I think he's a fabulous player. I think he's only going to get better. I think he's a great prospect. And for Dynasty Fantasy Football, you want him on all your teams. You should have been buying him up earlier during rookie draft season, especially when people were fading him a little bit because he was short, because he was a little guy, because little guys can't play. This guy can play. He's a baller, and you're going to see this throughout his career. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. It fuels me to go over this tape. It fuels me to keep finding this tape for you and helping you guys out with your fantasy teams. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.